adverse drug reactions are responsible for at least 5% of hospital admissions in Europe and are the fifth ranking cause of hospital deaths, according to the European Commission. Just last year in Europe, there were at least a half a dozen serious cases of adverse side effects of drugs previously unknown to the authorities and in some cases responsible for deaths. You may already be aware of some of the most famous cases. En France, on a eu le cas du Mediator. Ce Mediator est un médicament qui a été commercialisé par les laboratoires Servier. Or, ce médicament contient des amphétamines qui normalement devaient être utilisées que pour le diabète. Mais il a été aussi utilisé en tant que coupe fin. Donc il y a énormément de gens qui ont utilisé ce médicament. Et il entraîne des effets secondaires qui sont des maladies cardiovasculaires très graves qui ont touché entre 500 et 2000 personnes. Si on avait su plus tôt les effets secondaires, on aurait pu éviter ce scandale. In 2006, in the UK, six young men involved in a clinical drugs trial fell seriously ill with horrific symptoms and were rushed into intensive care. They'd suffered an unexpected biological reaction which had not occurred in animals that the drug had been tested on. Drug company Degenero knew that the drug could seriously affect the immune system. This had not been spelled out clearly to these six volunteers. Perhaps you remember those famous cases in France and the UK, but there are others that you may never have heard of across Europe and across the world. In the year 2001, the German company Bayer withdrew uh, the drug Bayol from the markets. Bayol was a drug to reduce cholesterol. The decision of Bayer happened after 50 people died worldwide. Serious side effects uh, caused uh, by Bayol uh, are, for example, fatal muscle weakness, and uh, Bayol can also cause uh, damage for kidneys, for example. German newspapers uh, reports show that warnings about Bayol uh, have been public as early as 1998. In Sweden, the swine flu vaccine Pandem Rix from Glatkos Mitzklein has given 126 confirmed cases of narcolepsy, a serious disease that prevents you from studying normally in school, that prevents you from enjoying life as you would do as a child. On Vioxx, the aspirin substitute made by Merck, which was revealed to increase dramatically heart attacks and strokes and cause thousands of deaths. Pfizer antidepressant reboxetine causing ineffective but causing suicidal tendencies by young people. Valdoxan. Tuzabri. Tompix. Nixine. Vasterel. Aricoxia. Protelos. So what can we do? We Greens in the European Parliament, what can we do? The new regulation on clinical trials is currently debated in the European Parliament and we call for full transparency on all results on the clinical trials. What does that mean? This means that we need public access to all data in an easily accessible form. It means that patients have the right to know all important things and that means all things about the medicines they are using. It means that we really make it clear that humans who are exposed to clinical trials are the real owners of the results, nobody else before them. And finally, if we have full access, we have better scrutiny of the results than we have without. But just now, the pharmaceutical industry is fighting to prevent this. They want to keep profit above patients. But the Greens in the Parliament are fighting for patients above profits. And that is really a hard fight. So what can you do to help us? You can address your national members of the European Parliament and ask them to vote in favour of full transparency on clinical trials. To find out more, go to www.greensifa.eu.